Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are probably the greatest Pokemon games to ever release due to the amount of love, care, and undisputed amount of happiness the developers tried jamming into this piece of sh little game. In fact, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee were supposed to change everything. Pokemon Let's Go was the first ever mainline Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch that were developed by the same people I pray to every night. Game Freak! The game follows a boy or a girl as they pick either Pikachu or Eevee depending on the game of their choice and hopefully the final iteration of Kanto. And oh my Arceus! The game has it all. Megas, difficult battles, an easy shiny catching mechanic, and gorgeous cutscenes! You're so goddamn beautiful! And even though the games tried to use the power of nostalgia to hook you, Game Freak attempted to innovate by making Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee a new experience for fans of the new and the old. What the fuck, man? I'm not that old! Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee tried to deviate themselves away from every mainline Pokemon game and tried to be its very own title. And for the first time in over six years, I can solemnly say, Game Freak did something right. And funny enough, people hated it. And I can't really blame them this time. This was the fifth time we're going back to Kanto. The art style was a little too cutesy and childish. And the catching mechanic was a little too wonky. Stand still for one second before I put a cap up your butt! And let's not forget, if you really wanted a Mew, you had to spend $50 for a shitty controller that you could only use for this game. Hello? Hello? Pokemon Let's Go does a lot of things wrong, but honestly, who gives a sh**? The game wanted to innovate by adding cool features to make Pokemon Let's Go an actually fun game. For instance, the game added a candy mechanic that on paper is wild. The game added a bunch of steroids in the shape of candy that can boost your Pokemon's power as long as you can shove it down their throat. And because of this feature, you can basically make any of your Pokemon overpowered and not worry if they suck or not. Did you hear that, buddy? You'll finally be viable! And we can be together forever. Mwah. The game's main objective was to bring players from Pokemon Go to the mainline games. And I'ma be honest, besides having the name Go in the title, the game doesn't do a good job at bridging the two games between each other. It's pretty cool that you can send Pokemon from Go to Let's Go, but I'ma be honest, besides that, the game doesn't really have anything that Pokemon Go players will really enjoy. But the game does add a bunch of fan favorite features and features we've been asking for for a really long time. You can dress up Pikachu and Eevee and have matching outfits. Jesse James and other fan favorite characters have cameos. And after 10 years, they finally brought back Pokemon following you with the added bonus that you can ride them. And if you still doubt me that Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are the best Pokemon games, here's this Uno Reverse card. Do you remember all the bad things I said about Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee earlier? In fact, they're all strengths! This might be the fifth time we go back to Kanto, but they basically perfected Kanto. They added beautiful cutscenes that drive the story forward, fun cameos from all your favorite Generation 1 characters, fix the mods that spawn in each route to let you have more options team building, and this is gonna tickle your pickle! They brought back Mega Evolution! The game's art style is really cute and cuddly, but man does it look gorgeous! Still don't know how to spell that word, by the way. Every Pokemon looks so beautiful and well animated, which makes me wonder, what the f happened? People really hate the catching mechanic, but man does it feel exhilarating being able to catch that shiny Pokemon you've been hunting for days to hours. And being able to swing your arm to catch a Pokemon makes it feel so serial. Surreal. Surreal. Great! And truth be told, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are the future of the Pokemon franchise. I know I said that statement earlier, but hear me out. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee tried so hard to add so many cool and interesting ideas. Even though they feel that most of them, I'd like to say that they kind of created such a unique experience that no other Pokemon game has succeeded at. And honestly, if Game Freak keeps making games like Legends Arceus and Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, I think the future of the franchise is looking really fun. And until Game Freak makes the next game, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are phenomenal games that you should try and if you haven't tried them before it's worth the purchase and if you have tried them and really hated them you should try them again and if you still hate them i tried my best man i hope you enjoyed this video i've been enjoying making pokemon content and honestly more to come this year and next year and if you could like and subscribe i'd greatly appreciate it who's a good little baby yes you are yes you are uh, you were 40 dollars